I hate seeing my old stuff. You know, it's, it's not fun at all. <laughs> I thought in my mind, I had the, those rose, rose colored glasses, like, yeah, yeah, the, the animations from Modern Warfare 2, and they were pretty awesome. But you know, I got back here, we, we started putting the, the videos on the TVs out there in the lobby. It's not <laughs> flattering at all, <laughs> at all, <laughs> at all. But hey, the animations in this game are gonna be yeah, awesome. These, no one can touch these. <laughs> 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 so what are we looking at today? What do you want to show up? All right, well today, uh, this is the, one of the shotguns we have in the game right now. It's a pump action. As far as animation goes, like we have the usual fire rechamber afterwards. Then we have a reload where it's pretty visceral. You know, we were going for that real tier one, you know, this person is, works and, and sleeps with this weapon nonstop. Handle it with, uh, with extreme confidence. Back in the day, we used to have like really floaty and, and pretty animations. This project, we wanted it more visceral, realistic, constantly in your face, like I'm in the thick of things with these weapons. How much room to grow is there still within the genre? I feel like once you've mocap tier one, like what, what are you still finessing here? Well, we haven't mocap. This is all hand keyed animation. I did, uh, <laughs> I did ask the animation team if they wanted to go that route, but a lot of them were very purist like me and didn't want to, you know, give their, their artistry a way to mocap. So they said, you know, we, we're gonna add hand animate this. So one of our uh, uh, animators did this one. This is probably one of my favorite guns in the game right now. It just gives me joy every time I'm playing with this gun. Uh, just constantly. Hi. Work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whenever you're running around and you see somebody and you lay somebody down with this thing, not only is the animation of the person that got hit with it awesome, and the effects and, 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 and the sound and all that, but just the way that the gun kicks up and it comes back and then you rack it back again and you're back in action. I told one of my animators today, I said, hey, today, this is the best gun in the game. So by far, by far, and you killed it. Uh, even the reload, I mean, you're next. And, you, you're, I'm, I'm, and it turns it over and then just bah, bah. It's so good. It's so good, it, it feels almost exaggerated. Is there a level where it's like, okay, is this still realistic? I've, I've gone back and forth with Pat about this a couple of times. In the beginning, he wanted the fastest reload that you possibly could get with the, uh, the V models. I kind of went back and forth with him. I was like, well, if we do that, then you're gonna lose all the, the flare. It's almost like a, a taunt, you know, when you reload, it's like, you know, pull it up and it's just like, mm, who's next? You know, and then you get back into action. So I told him, I said, I'll, I'll do it as fast as I can but at the same time, we still need that flair. Uh, so there is a little bit of ex exaggeration in it, but it's it's definitely to the book. One thing that we added in old and past games, when you're ADS, you're, you're, you're firing. Uh, once you get to the last round and then you have to go back and reload, the gun would pop out of ADS and then you'd, you know, reload your gun. What we added this project was uh, ADS reload. So you can stay in the fire, you got the guy down, you know, and then you just keep the gun up. That's great. And then get back into the action. Why didn't they do that before? I don't know, I don't know. That was also another uh, ask of, of, uh, from Pat. He was like, let's try that. Even though it looks pretty in Maya while you're animating it, when you get into the game, you need to play it, make sure it feels good. And then uh, if things need to be adjusted, you go back and you adjust it for the game. It's not all about how it looks, it's about how it plays too. But if you leave it to the designers, they'll make you do the animation in two seconds. It wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> and they'd be like, all right, let's do one second. Okay, do we not need any reloads at all? <laughs> but uh, I love them. I love you designers. So it's all good. Even though everyone in the world is not an animator, everyone is when it comes to human movement. Everyone sees humans moving around every day and then <laughs> their opinions are like fill in the blank. Everyone knows when something's off because we see it every day. So when someone comes with a, a feedback, like, hey, that, that looks a little off. You can't be like, oh, you know, screw you. you know, I do it my way. You have to go, okay, right, what are you really seeing? You figure it out and you need to take everybody's opinion, you know, uh, one to heart and to, you know, just actually listen to the people that are talking to you because they're not wrong. Everyone, everyone has, everyone has that, 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 that years of experience of watching human motion. So everyone knows, so. Yeah. Just, just thick skin, you know, and then take the feedback and then make your animation better, you know, that's all.